Okay guys, I'm Dave Austin, welcome to the channel. Today we're working swarms of yellowtail schools. Oh. Swarms of yellowtail schools for kingfish. I hope I'm recording here yet. I think we're gonna be working these school kingfish. I wasn't ready. We've got a nice little rat king to start the video off. So let's get him in the boat. And we're on the board with a rat. I'll measure him and we'll, uh, we'll try to get down there. Righto, hang on. Righto guys, so there's the intro to our video. I'm Dave Austin. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. Subscribe, like, leave some comments down below. Appreciate your support. Let's let this puppy go, right? Let's let him go. Come on. Where are we going to put him? Not even ready for this video. Let's chase kingfish. <laughs> Let's chase kingfish around bait schools. Let's see how we go. Come on, buddy. Off he goes. Let's cue the intro, let's go, boom! How good was that, guys? Okay, so, what an intro, what a way to introduce the video. All right, so what we're doing here is, I'm seeing all these yellow tail just being swarmed up on the surface, and what we're trying to do is we're just putting standard sort of a rig with a bit of squid head and gut on there, and it's been frozen. I'm gonna drop that under the boat. We're gonna to try to hook up again. We are gonna set that drag nice and tight. We're working in with this wind. So keep an eye on that rod. We're basically just poor man's, poor man's down riggering it. Let me just adjust that camera. All right. There we go, I think, yeah, something's on it, something's on it. Oh, 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 oh. And he's gone under the boat. He's under the boat. It can't be that big of stop pulling drag. Did we lose him? All right. I think we lost him. No, he's there. Just these rat kingfish. And you don't need to use a whole live squid to get these fish. Because you're only gonna waste a whole life just making sure we can get, it's just another small rat. They're taking quite big baits as well. Okay. So these kingfish, they're only small these ones, so not too fast. Let's get him off. So what these small kingfish are doing, these small rats, if you look up over there, I'll see if I can get it with my camera, towards that boy, there's a whole school of yakas being swarmed up. And we're just, oh, that was a handy release. Anyway, we don't want them, we want the bigger ones. So let's try to get a few of these for the video. And uh, then we'll try going for something bigger. Let's see if there's any bigger ones down there at the moment. We'll keep working them. You, that's number two. Two, baby, two. Okay, guys, there's a swarm right there. And this is what we're doing, baby. This is what we're doing. We're using squid guts at the moment. Southern calamari guts. Okay, they've gone down. They might have been a little bit spooked by the boat. No, there they are. They're working there, just there. He's gonna smash us, come on. There we go, they found it. I've got some, some frozen yellow tail in there as well. Yeah, we might have him. Has that circle hook done its job? Still there. Let's load him up. Loaded him up. Let's go. 
This one's a little bit on the bigger side, it might make legal. And another boat's coming. You splashed my camera. He's a bit bigger, this one. He might, he might be a keeper. Oh. He's not going to make legal, this one. Okay. Let's watch the release. Yeah, baby. We need a bigger one. Come on. Tell you what, they've worked up. We're at the point we're starting to lose count. So that's three, I think. Three? Yeah, I think three. All right, clean the cameras. Let's go do another drift. Boom, baby, boom. Righto, guys, uh, we're gonna try something different. We're just about to approach the school. So I'm gonna just put on a frozen dead yellow tail out of the freezer that I caught. It's a pretty big size, one circle hook through the, through the jaw. These fish are getting worked up right now around the boat. So let's, let's plonk him out. They're all around the boat. We'll loosen the drag to give them a bit of time to swallow it. And let's see if the frozen squid and the frozen yellowtail make a difference today. You can see the yak is just working up there. All right. So working these swarms, what I'll try to do now is I'll try to get some squid out there as well. Jeez, look at the sounder. We're just pumping. All right. They are just very active at the moment, so let's try to get some squid while we're down here. It's funny to see, maybe they won't hit. Um, <laughs> it's funny, maybe they don't want to hit the yellow tail. Anyway, we'll see. But it's funny that they're actually, they're smashing the yellow tail on the surface up there. Have a look at them. They don't seem to be liking that yellow tail. Anyway, we'll do one pass here for squid. And we'll go back and uh, we'll switch back to a, um, to a squid strip, strip and see what happens. They don't seem to be liking the yellow tail. Well, it doesn't appear so, but it's only been, it's only been like two minutes. <laughs> No, they're not liking. They are not liking what I have to offer. Right, we're going to slow troll that yakka through the school now and, and see what that does. And if this yakka doesn't work, we'll switch back to squid, to those squid guts. And these are all frozen baits, so this is a good opportunity to see if frozen baits work as well sometimes as fresh baits. Okay, we're coming up to the school now, as you can see there. All right, let's see if they start tapping it. Okay, they're underneath us. I'm gonna just drop out a bit more line. Okay, 
Yeah, that ain't. <laughs> oh, here we go. What's that? That must be a snag. Surely that's a snag, yeah? Yeah, I think we hit bottom. Damn. You have to find it amusing that their yellow tail, I've got a dead yellow tail here, sitting under the boat, and they're not touching it. Anyway, we're gonna switch back to squid. And I think we've gotta change that battery. Back to squid, baby. Let's go. Righto, let's drive back over them. Oh, okay. I was just about to reset, but that looks like they found it. Yeah, definitely preferring the squid over the yellow tail. So it's not always about matching the hatch. Sometimes it's about standing out in the crowd, and there we go. Oh. All right. That's all right, we want to get a bigger one. Is he gonna come, or have they baited me? I think they might have baited me, let's have a look. Have they baited me? Baited. Baited, baited. Okay, we'll put another squid head on because um, they're not hitting the yellow tail. It's just weird that they're feeding on yellow tail. Oh, here we go. They're hitting it already. Well, I'm trying to adjust the, the steering of the boat. Here we go. We're recording here, yep. Yeah, so all this stuff about matching the hatch when they're feeding on a certain thing, it's not always the case. It is sometimes the case, but not always the case. All right, here we go. We, we're filling them. Here we go. Here we go, he's on there. Got him. No. We are recording there, yep. Fun with these little rats. And the quick release. But we got it on the trace, so it counts. All right, we've got to change the game plan here. We've caught enough kingfish now. I might use some baits until I get a, my first squid, and then we're going to try putting some big liveys and see what happens. I've still got frozen squid in there, but let's just, uh, we need some calamari. Okay, let's go change that battery, boom. Okay guys, so the aim of the game now is to try to get a, a Southern Calamari and put that on live. And for the meantime, we will try to uh, see if we can get ourselves a kingfish. But we do want to get that live squid out there to try to get something bigger. And the bigger the live squid, the better for me. We've caught enough for the video. Now we want to try, the, the aim of the game is to try to pick out something big out of that school. And they've kind of stopped, uh, 
they've stopped feeding so yeah we'll see what happens there anyway let's try to get a squid now oh we might be on nah I can't nah that was just bottom that might have kelp on it No squid yet. With these squid, I like to use 3.0 or 3.5 for my sizes. I'm after bigger squid. I get plenty of small squid on the 3.5s. I'm not after big numbers, I'm after bigger units. That's either bottom or something gave that a bit of a touch. Got another frozen squid there. Oh, here we go. That might be. That might be bottom. Yeah, we're on bottom there. No. Just lost. Damn. Gonna have to re rig that one. Uh, before I cut up that frozen squid, I thought I'd put a yucca fillet out there. The idea, well, the idea being they're feeding on yellow towel, but they won't hit a whole yellow towel. Maybe, maybe they'll hit a piece of the yellow towel. So we'll drop this guy down and then we'll get the squid jigs out there until I catch my first southern calamari. And it's a little bit tough today. I lost my uh, lost my my fluoro orange jig, my sunset jig. Got a snag. Wasn't too happy about that. But anyway, we'll make up for it. Righto, guys. The squid are very slow at the moment, and I've had a few snags. So it's been about half an hour, and not much has happened. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'll put a frozen bit of squid wing now. I'm going to put out. And we're going to go troll back over the area where I was catching them before. But, there's, but there is no swarming activity on the surface. So let's just see what happens. We'll put it out. Okay, they're sitting a bit lower. So we just got that squid wing. We're going to put it out the back of the boat. And they're still here. He might be a bit bigger, this one. Or he's just a, a much harder fighter. No, he's still a small one. We lost our bait. Come on, come on, buddy. Okay. So once again, we're proving my point that matching the hatch isn't always the right way to go. Let's watch him. Let's go, swim away, buddy. Swim away. Let's get another squid wing on. So they are choosing frozen squid from the freezer over what's, what they're feeding on down there or what they're supposed to be attacking down there. And they're still underneath the boat. So, I've proven this a couple of times just on this video alone and 
a couple of my previous videos. So we're still over the school now. Let's just leave that there for a sec. Oh, here they are, they're starting to swarm up again. They're swarming up and they're gonna hook on. Here we are, here we go. And they're on. So yeah, so they just turned back on and they're choosing squid <laughs> over, this one ain't a big one, but here's a good one. They're all good ones. Jeez. They go hard. Dave Austin fishing guides. Not bad. Come on. Okay, I've got leader. He's a little bit bigger than the last one. I don't think he's going to make legal though. You. Okay. So once again, once again, when you do it a couple of times, it actually means something. If you if you catch something once a certain way, it doesn't prove anything. You got to keep doing it over and over again to prove the point that matching the hatch isn't always the way to go. They're playing with those yakas over there, but they're not touching my yakas on a hook, but they are going for the squid. So once again, matching the hatch, not always the way to go. All right, buddy, let's go. Yeah, baby. Another kingfish video for Dave. We've got to get some bigger ones though. Still got to keep focusing on the squid, but the squid are just quiet. I keep, I keep losing me jigs. Righto, guys. Let's do a bit of a troll for kingfish. Got a squid head on. We're running over a school of yakas right about now. We're just going to troll nice and slow over them. The boat's just in gear. We are recording here. Okay, and any second you should <laughs> you should see the the kingfish still got bait there. Should see the kingfish smash that squid head. I'm gonna back off the drag just a touch. They're hitting it. Got to back off the drag a bit because it's a big bait and they're smaller. They're smaller kingies. And we want to try to get a bigger one. Oh, I want to have a go. All right, did we get him? Okay. Has he got size? He's got weight. But he might be tricking me. He might be a bit bigger, this one. He's going. He's, he looks a bit bigger, this one. He's got some followers down there too. He's got some mates. This one might make legal. We're busting the myth. <laughs> he's not ready. We might lose him. Yeah, he's a bit bigger, this one. Look at his mates down there, if you can see him. Can you see his mates? Look, that's a dolphin fish. That's a dolphin fish down there. This is a better one. Yes, that's a better one. That's the bigger one we were after. Busted the myth. <laughs> right, eh? We 
we got dinner. He's a 73. He's a 73, guys. Very happy with him. That was the bigger one we were after. We're not going to release him. He's going straight to the esky. You! And we got our bait back. <laughs> right, eh? Hey, we got a keeper. That's good. On the squid head. Matching the hatch isn't always the way. Sometimes you've got to stand out in the crowd. Okay, remember that. It does work, however, on occasion. But I've, t I've tended to find when they're not hitting anything, try to stand out. All right, let's reset. You! Righto, guys, we're going to continue to keep busting these myths. There's a swarm of yellowtail with kingfish underneath them. They're showing up on the sounder right now. We're going to... We are going to do a slow troll. We're going to reuse that bait from that last kingfish we just got, the 73. We're going to make sure we're steering the boat right. And we're going to sit that behind the boat. We're going to set the drag a little bit loose so they can swallow this bait. Let's see. Poor man's downrigging method. And let's see if we can get a bigger kingfish. Oh, they're here. Oh, no. I'm not ready. Am I recording? Yes, we are. How much better we got left? 10%. Oh, they're hitting it while I'm trying to steer the boat. We want the bigger ones. All right, we got it. He's got it. Nope. They're still tapping away. Is he going to hit? We want it to connect. Here we go. I think we got him. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Busting myths. Yellowtail ball right there. And the squid strips are firing up with these kingies. Is he going to go? He's still there, I think. He's swimming with us. He's still there, I think. Let's just load up on him. He's still there. Yep. This one might be a bigger one again, guys. Or illegal. No, he might. No, he's a smaller one again. Oh. Let's give him a quick release, this one. Hook's free. Okay, let's spear this one. Off he goes. Righto guys, the yellowtail swarm is just here again. We're just going to drift over them. You can see them there. We'll go a bit deeper, see if there's anything. We'll hit the bottom and then we'll come back up. Okay. We'll lock it right up now, because we're close to the bottom. We want no drag. Here they come. Here they come. All right, let's see if they'll... Let's see if there's some bigger ones swimming underneath the bottom of these uh, these rats. Okay, come on. There we go. That might be the big one we're after. Maybe not, nope. I don't think it's the big one that we're after. They still go hard. Okay. He's looking all right. Let's try to get a good swim from him. Come on. Let's 
get another bait down. Ew, go the kingfish. All right. I really got to... <laughs> I really got to focus on the squid. I've got no squid. I've got a kingy there to eat, but I want some squid. Let's go. We need a livey. We want to get a bigger, a bigger unit. Got a squid strip on there. Let's get the squid rods out before the kingfish jump on, eh? What do you reckon, guys? We'll get a squid before the kingfish jump on. They found me. They're just everywhere. They're gonna go, look, that's gonna go any second. Yeah, there it is about to go. Come on. You gonna buckle for the camera? Come on. Let's get a squid. We need a squid. We wanna put a livey out there. We got baited, I can't believe it. We're actually running out of squid. We're getting low on the supply. No more mucking around. It's time to get serious about the squid. We are, however, approaching the swarm. Be just over there. So expect that to go off any second. I want to try to keep it low. I want to hit the bottom and just come up about a meter off the off the bottom. Okay, we're on the bottom there. One, two, three. There we go. I want to get that bait underneath all the rats if I can. Try to get a bigger one. Hey Siri, what's the time? It's going to be dark, so we've got to get some squid in the boat. Come on, Dave. Step up. We need some squid. So I can show everyone watching on YouTube my catch. There's the yakkers. Oh, something's working them. They're getting nervous. There we go. We got him. We got him, I think. We got him. Wow, that sun. What's he doing? He's still there. Doesn't feel very big unless he's swimming towards us. Okay, we are. Uh... Another rat. Another smallie. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Just swim off the monster for me. That's the way. Okay, so the sun's going down and we're chasing some kingfish. Just trolling squid strips through bait schools of yellowtail. They're not hitting yellowtail though, so we busted that myth.
and I reckon we can get one. I reckon we can at least get a hit now. We're approaching the bait school now of Yakas. Turn my camera on. Let's see how we go. Okay, here we go. It's gonna be somewhere here. Here we go, they found us. That's what we want. I don't think he's a giant, or he might just be swimming towards us, but he's he's sitting out there on top water. He's a little bit better. He might be a little bit, or oh, maybe not. All right, that was my last squid strip. Nah, he's not. Okay. Right, that's him. He's not too bad, but he's not legal. So, let's let him go, baby. Oh. Come on, buddy, stop bashing yourself. Come on, let's see you go. Look at the swarm over there. Can you see that swarm? No squid today. Haven't really given it 100% of my effort. The old uh, Southern Calamari, but you know what? I've got no squid left and I can't get a live squid to put down there to try for a bigger one, but we got that one over there. I'm gonna try troll this bit of yellowtail fillet through them. See if that does anything. Even if the small ones leave it alone, maybe a big one might grab it. So that's the plan. And let's try it out. Okay, let's go with a yellowtail fillet. They have been ignoring my yellowtail baits like the plague. But they're sitting in a swarm of uh, yellowtail, these kingfish. Okay, we're over the, the bait ball right now. Here we go, oh, they hit it. Okay, finally they're hitting the yucca fillers. We've got plenty of yucca baits. Here we go, we got him. Oh, we lost him. Oh. Come on. Come on. I think we're baited. Ah. Baited. Let's get another yakka fillet down there. Can we get that to buckle now? Okay, if I lose my audio, here we go. No, we found it. We might lose that other camera. So the yakas in the end did end up working, but 100% that the squid uh, was working better even amongst these yellowtail schools. Better check that they haven't baited me now. Ooh. 
Oh, what the heck? What the heck was that? They're hitting it right there. What was that? Did you see that? Oh, the kingies. The kingies are right there. They're right there. Here it goes. Look, look. He's about to grab it. Oh, they're right under the boat. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Anyway, let's just drop it right there. And here's all the... Ah, uh, the, the swarm's just above. Okay. It's still hitting it. Okay. The swarm's just there. I want to shut the motor off and I want to do a squid drift before we finish. Sorry I haven't got the other camera going, guys, but this will have to do. I'm just going to reset this so I can save that footage. Actually, what about chucking a little metal? Do you reckon that's going to get them fired up? Let's see if the little metal gets them fired up. Got to lock this. Let's see if they're chasing it on the surface. Let's try again. What we'll do is we'll let it sink all the way to the bottom. Hopefully we don't snag. And then we'll work it through the water column. Here we go. They found it. We got the bite. Oh, he might be all right, this one. And I don't have my audio. This one feels better, actually, guys. But you never know. They're still feeding on dusk. I can't believe it. And that was, this is on a yellow, on a, on a whole yellow tail frozen. So it wasn't even live. He's got a follower. Look at the follower. Look at the follower. Look at the follower. No, he's not a big one. Look at that. All right, we got him. Beautiful. Yes. Okay. Well, the whole yakka worked. What have we got here? Do you reckon we can get one through? So I've got a bit of an idea. Let's go do one more pass and we'll troll this little metal lure on this little rod just for a bit of fun. If we lose him, we lose. Oh, we got hit right there. Oh, I hope I picked that up. They were chasing it. Look. Oh, oh. Wow. Got him, got him. Yes. Oh, my drag's too tight. I've got to get around the rod. Okay, cool. We got him. Okay, cool. How good was that little? <laughs> well, I don't have to do the troll. Wow. We're going to get tangled. Oh, we're tangled already, I think. What a, what a way to finish the session. Look at this eggy head rod go. I've got to be very, very careful because you can't bend them past it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, I'm going to back off the drag. I'm going to leave that there, get this out. We've got that bite right on, right on camera. He's going to stay there. I'm going to get this one out. He's still there. He's playing nice too. Okay, let's get let's get him up. We got him. We still got him. Okay. You see him down there. All right, we got him. We got him. Look at the bend on that. Right on sunset. Kingfish on sunset. Let's get him up. I don't know if this leader's going to hold. It's only 12 pound. But the eggy head rod. It's only a little rat. What do we? Oh, we foul hooked him. That's the problem. Got to be very careful. Um, how are we going to get him in the boat? I don't even. I don't even use a gaff. Yeah, we just foul hooked him. Oh, he's. He might be liftable. Let's just have a quick look. He's only a little. He's only a tiny. He's only a little tucker.
Uh, he's, a, he's only a little tacker. Okay. All right. Off you go, buddy. Off you go. Okay. Righto, guys. One more pass. Let's go. We've got a whole yakka there. And off she goes. Drop her back. Drop her back. Steer the boat. Steer the boat. Slow the boat down. And let's see if we can get one more. Oh, here we go. He's already on. Mate, yeah, he's he swallowed it. We've got to make sure he swallows it. He's sitting on it. Have we got him? I want to make sure that hook's set nice and tight. We got him. He's on. <laughs> the last drift on sunset, guys. On sunset. He's not a big one, but I'm pretty sure he's a kingy. And they eventually ended up hitting the yellow tail that I had frozen. And I don't know, this, this footage isn't going to be too good in the dark. Only the small ones are firing up now. And look, you can see that yakka. He's going to shake that yakka off. Oh, look at, oh, look. Oh, did you see the bigger one chasing him? Oh, I know that this GoPro doesn't record good at sunset. But look, there's a bigger one down there. Wow. Wow. He shook that yakka off. That yakka's going to get taken for sure. All right. That's the last bait. That's the last drift. We're going to let this guy go. All right. All right, quick, quick release. Where did the yakka go? Bum, lost the bait. Could have had another, dr another drift. All right, off you go, buddy. Beautiful. Righto, guys. Well, I know the audio ain't too crash up because the last battery died. But, mate, the kingfish are still firing on sunset. And I know this camera is probably not going to record the best because GoPros have a bit of a problem when you turn their... Um, the stabilization on so i'm hoping that it's come out thanks for watching i did want to put a live squid out there no squid no squid i have caught squid with kingfish before in one of my last videos i can't i don't even know which it's probably about two or three videos back go check that one out other than that guys thank you big fist bump okay let's go dave austin fishing signing off